Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. And may you have a blessed rest of the year. Because everybody's going back on the lockdown. Because of the Delta variant. Just kidding. Well, I don't know. Um, like I said, I live in, in rural Nevada now. So everybody's a little bit different here. And uh, people don't give a fuck about your mask. They don't care. If you walk buck naked up in the mountains, nobody will give a fuck. I mean, yeah, you'll get the sheriff call on you, but I don't think anybody cares about mask mandates or anything like that over here. But uh, I feel bad for California because the little babies, they're going to continue to have to wear masks. Even though I believe that uh, I don't think vaccines are available for little babies. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. I'm not, I'm not going to be talking about COVID-19 or anything like that. Maybe if I do a live stream of V, then maybe we'll talk about it. But anyways, uh, the, it, it's, uh, no, but, but seriously, for, for me, I hope you guys are really doing a, you're doing okay. And, um, may you have many blessings. And I'm saying that because of uh, the fact that I really want you guys to hit that subscribe button and like button. I'm only, I'm a small content creator, so if you guys really like me being down to earth until I get like a bunch of subscribers and I get a big head. Maybe possibly. I don't know. But in all honesty guys. I really enjoy talking about you know top topics like this. Um, about history. I'm a history person. I just love everything about it. And learning new things. Especially about my bloodline. Which is the Cambodian people. So I always want to know what Pol Pot mean. To give you guys kind of a background information about my name, uh, my name is Boon Him. If you translate it to Khmer, it's Garet. All right. So my name is was supposed to be Garet, which is Bunrit, but the nurse fucked up, and so my name is Boon Rith Him. That's my my whole name, but my entire name was supposed to be Garet, which was supposed to be Bunrit. Now my last name. It, of course, you, I got it from my dad. So what happened is a lot of the Khmer had aliases. They didn't have their real name. They changed their name. And I asked my mom this and she said that my father changed his name. So did my mom. My mom changed her name as well and so did my dad. And they did this to conceal, you know, I, like I said, I don't want to give personal stuff out, but just my dad just kept his alias uh with the Kamagaham gave him so he kept his alias was and which is Chia him basically and so him is is one of the Kamagaham I don't remember I think it was brother number three I might be wrong I don't know but he had an alias which was him so I think that's where it came from it came from uh one of the the leaders of the Khmer Gom. and a lot, a lot of Cambodians that I came across did have the last name him as well and I guess it's a way for us to um not us but a way to for the Khmer Gom to, to determine who was a Rouge and who was not so you see a lot of like King King Saint Nuke had a has beautiful a beautiful name majority of the king and queens people who are on top of the hierarchy this is what my mom taught me people who are on top of the hierarchy have very beautiful poetic names and uh i guess people at the bottom of the hierarchy people who were peasants didn't have beautiful sounding names that's a way to determine our hi hierarchy in the cambodian society so pol pot got his that's not his name his name is Sola Sar but I, I I don't know why I got this urban dictionary up but I wanted to read it to you guys because it's funny it says Pol Pot sometimes spelled Pol Pot and also known as Candleman or Sodomize the name was granted to a half human half maggot Cambodian leader who started the Khmer Rouge and killed off two approximately two to three million of his own people the name derives from the fact that Pol Pot is currently in hell, but continuously ainly raped by demons. Um, if there is a hell beyond hell, Pol Pot experiences it. So, shout out to Kevin Ang uh, Ke Kev Hanel. He posted this on August 5th, 2006, and I got 266 likes, likes and probably 49 downvotes from the Pol Pot apologists. So, anyways. 
and it says right there it says get a pull pot mug for your girlfriend Riley I thought it was pretty funny but to be serious of the video um Cora did a really good job um Rainy Sokhan Sokhan um he's a typical Cambodian loves blah 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 problem solving math and politics so he did a really go good job of summarizing where the, the name came from Pol Pot came from it's short for the French word politique potentiel po it's French sorry politique potentiel I think I pronounced that incorrectly it's potential politics. It's rumored that Solasar was given the name by China, from China, from the CCP. Eventually, every Khmer communist had an alias back then. My pa my dad and his family had an al alias. Eventually, oh yeah, okay. Solasar was called Pol Pot. Kian Sampan was called him. Remember, I told you guys, uh, I think Kian Sampan, I don't I remember what hierarchy he was. I don't have it at the top of my head, but he was the one who came with the ideas of the killing fields. Um, he was not came with the idea of the, the killing fields. He came with the idea of, of turning Cambodia to the Marxist agrarian utopia that they wanted. So as you guys can see him, that's my last name. Okay. Kion Sapan was called him. That's, that's my last name. Right. I know you, some some of you are some of you guys are like holy shit yeah yeah okay. Um, King Gwek if was called Duck. Uh, Tu Samuth was called Sok. Sanok Min was called Min. It's ironic that Pol Pot was one of the few dictators who didn't embrace a cult of personality. With the alias and lack of public image, even his relatives didn't know he was the mysterious Ankar Lu. Uh, upper organization until after the fall of the Khmer Rouge. No ordinary people knew who Popat was or how he looked. Popat didn't want a lot of attention on himself. Uh, Nate Thayer on his blog, journalist Nate Thayer on his blog that he has up where he talks about how the Khmer Khamp, they like to be, uh, they don't like public attention, even though they brag about consuming gallbladders, livers and stuff. But they didn't, they, they like to keep to themselves and a lot of the Michael Homes today, they are in the jungle, deep in the jungle. They don't, they don't like a lot of attention. They don't give a lot of interviews. Uh, so they are still in um, certain places of Cambodia up in the mountains where they're keeping steady. I don't know if there's going to be another, another revolution per se, but there are Khmer Rouge in power, but they're not, I guess, not the same. I, I don't know. I, I don't know about Cambodian politics as much as I should. But uh, Hun Sen and stuff used to be former Rouge. I don't think there are anymore. But there are Khmer Rouge. Khmer Khom still exists in existence today. Um, so yeah. It, 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 it pretty much. And so, so people. Uh, even Sin Sim. He's a native Cambodian. Even he, even he said. As told by my father. Pol Pot was, was a name called by the Vietnamese soldiers. So you hear it that the CCP named him, the Vietnamese named him before the collapse of the Khmer Rouge regime by the Vietnamese troops. No one in my father's era had ever heard of the name Pol Pot. Um, yeah, so a lot of a lot of Khmers they did was um, they did answer it as well. So yeah, where, where the name came from, and like I said, he didn't want a lot, a lot of attention on himself. He liked to be. He kept to himself. He didn't have a cult personality, just like you know Ch Nicholas. I think that's that's his name, Ceausescu in Romania. He doesn't have a cult personality as um, King Jong Un in North Korea. Uh, I don't know. There was a cult of personality with Che and Fidel Castro. Am I might be wrong? Um, Stalin and stuff like that. They they he didn't want a lot of attention, like Mao Zedong or anything like that. He just kept to himself. He didn't like the attention. So I hope you guys learned something, like I did. And uh, it's really interesting where the name came from, you know, and as a person who, an individual who was named, who has a last name as a, one of the top members of the Khmer Kham. Yeah, it gets to you, you know, it gets to you, I'm not gonna lie, it, it makes you sick to your stomach, it makes you nauseated, but, uh, you know, I'm going to wear that name and... You know, I'm not proud of it, but it's just my identity that I have. 
So anyways, um, I do have a podcast called the Far Out Wisdom Podcast. You can find the information at faroutwisdom.podbeam.com. Um, I have all my latest episode. You guys can find um, all my information. All You can find all the podcast um, episode. It's available on all podcast player, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, I do have sponsors for the Far Out Wisdom Podcast. Rebecca Eichen from shadowdance.com. So when you guys ask for a consultation, when you go to shadowdance.com, go to the bottom. When you ask for your star chart to be read, make make sure that to say that I sent you and I get paid for it. And if you are a podcast that's looking for a hosting site, try Podbeam. They offer a limited hosting plans and business plans, which I will link below. As you, as you guys can see, uh, the limited hosting plan, which I have, and they give you your own website. I, you know, it all depends on who you go for. I mean, some people, their podcast, they want to, they, they want to use Linktree, but I like, I like Podbean because the fact that they gave me a website with my podcast, does that make sense? So I have the unlimited hosting plan, which I absolutely love. So if you guys want one, if you guys are a podcaster, you guys want to move and transport your podcast from Anchor or something, just go to the link that I provide right here, www.podbean.com forward slash foul. And if you're a business and you have your own podcast, www.podbean.com forward slash pro forward slash foul. And uh, I have a Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash boonhim, paypal.me forward slash boonhim, venmo.com forward slash boonhim. So if you guys support my work and um, it really, really helps a lot. And I'm also on pod page as well. And you guys can play it. Any podcast player, it's available. And, uh, I do have a twatter now. That's what V, that's what V uses. That's what V says. He says twatter. And I know I get shot out to, I am an author and I'm idea pod, by the way. So, but uh, anyways, somebody gives me shot out as you, you guys can see from she beauty, but I don't even know who these people are. I didn't even have a Twitter. Like, I don't know who they're giving a shout out to, but anyways, um, here is, sorry, here's my Twitter account right here at boon him. And you can, I pretty much post majority of the content here. And like I said, I really want, I want, I want to remain apolitical on Twitter because I know it's a fucking shit show. So I am on Instagram as well. I don't have it up, but uh, just put Boon Ham and you can see my beautiful face pop up as well. So yeah, so I post on Twitter, on Twata as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, hit that like button. That subscribe button, it really helps. As always, guys, stay far out. Bye.